Well, we saw the guy. Uh, we saw the car, and it was like surrounded by rubble. And um, we saw like this. Yeah, we saw the guy. He looked like he was wearing like, dark colors, and uh, he had, I think he had a beard. But he was holding two guns, so yeah, it was a little scary. And yeah, we were just wondering like, hey, who's that guy? And we were just told to run in. We were getting really freaked out. You were at school. Mm-hmm. So it was just scary, and we all called our families, and we all made sure everyone was okay. We were all anticipating like a gunshot at any minute. Well, I was, but yeah, you guys I probably was. were too. Like, yeah. I was worried that one of us would get shot, like any of us. So. I don't know. We've been through 9/11, so I mean, but now this truck thing and the cars using cars against people. I mean, I walk up that road every day, you know, to go to wherever and it's I mean you just have to be very very careful and vigilant all the time everybody has to be really alert don't look at your cell phones all the time anything could happen anytime I think you know that's the world we live in We hope and pray for the victims and their families and for all those who you know, witnessed it and make sure the children um, you know, are taken care of, of course. But remember that you know, New York is a great place to live and it's a safe place. And uh, it shouldn't really, oh, God willing, it shouldn't you know, cause fear or panic. Um, kids should be able to go about their lives enjoying their, uh, their childhoods. So, as a teacher of young children, that's on my mind today.